Good afternoon. Today we will discuss introduction to study history. But before that, we should know about the objectives. First, define and know the scope of history. Second, identify the sources and dimensions of history in general. The third, discuss the concepts of historical documentation and historical imagination. Meaning and scope of history comes from the Latin word historia, means inquiry or investigation, meaning pagtatanong or an act of asking answer for the information. Historians tend to the study history based on the past where they are looking for the evidence of an event or even civilization. Meaning, kailang naghahanap sila ng kasagutan sa nakaraan o sa past na naganap sa isang history. The study of history became of the oldest discipline in the liberal arts. Stated that trivium, meaning, hindi siya wala lang. Ibig sabihin, if you want to change the future, study the past. Defined as the branch of social science which deals with the study of the past in relation to the present and the future. Stated that quadrium meaning para sa kanya ang history ay kaila, isa siyang branch ng social science sa kung saan kailangan pag-aralan natin yung anong connect ba ng past sa present sa future. So, before and after that, we will talk about the elements of history. The first is a branch of social science, second, study of the past. The third, relation to the, to the present and the future. Branch of social science, the study of facts based on observation and experimentation. Meaning, ang mga scientists, to see is to believe para sa kanila. Hindi sila naniniwala pag hindi nila ito nakikita. They have a dimensions of science. First, physical science. The second is natural science. And the third is social science. Physical science is study of non-living things. Mga walang buhay, including chemistry, geology, astronomy, and physics. Natural science, meaning life sciences such as botany and zoology, or study the plants and the animals. Social science, a specific study of human society and social relationship. Next, we will talk about sources of history. So, primary source, primary sources and the secondary sources, physical sources, evidence of history such as artifacts, relic, relics, remains, fossils, and even oral tradition. Meaning, kung saan nagmula ang original na mayakda. For example, gumawa ako ng isang poem na ako lang ang may akda nun. Hindi kapag pinablish ko siya, or pag hindi ko man pinablish at nabasa ng iba, meaning secondary na yon, Kasi nga, may nakabasa na sa sinulat ko poem. And then, historical documentation, Teodoro Agoncillo, no documentations, no history documentary or evidence, wait more than sabi-sabi or her, her we say. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang documentary, Wala rin siyang history kung ano nga ba siya, kung sino nga ba siya. O bakit nandito siya, kasali siya dito. But before that, we should know the, we should study the tree. First, the, the elements is the second is the study of the past. People, events, place, and even civilization are one of the main concerns in studying history. Kailangan nga natin malaman kung sino nga ba yung taong yun. 
kung anong naganap doon at anong lugar o ano nga ba talaga yung nangyari sa history na yon Kagaya nga dito ni Teodoro Agoncillo sa historical documentation. Wala siyang no documents, no history. Hindi natin siya kilala. And the third is relation to present and future. History is the study of the past in relation to the present and future. Ano nga ba ang pag ano nga ba ang connection ni present, ni past, ni present at ni future? Kailangan nga natin malaman 'yon kasi nga past natapos na and present itong kasalukuyan, future. Kailangan natin 'yon malaman kasi nga para sa susunod alam natin yung gagawin natin or kung may kailangan nga ba tayong itama sa future, sa nangyari sa past. Next is historical documentation. It's a very important for biography in the sense that the person was existing during this time. Yun na nga, na nakalagay dito sa historical documentation. Ito, ito dapat ang kailangan. Kailangan ng letters o yung sulat niya, birth and death certificate, kung kailan siya pinanganak, o kung kailan siya namatay. This, the third one is voice recordings or mga akda niya na siya mismo, na boses niya. And then the paintings, or meron nga ba siyang painting, kagaya nga nung painting ni Mona Lisa, kung si Teodoro nga ba yung nagpublish sa painting ni Mona Lisa. Makikilala siya si Teodoro Agoncillo dahil sa kanyang painting. And then, even court records. So, let's proceed. Historical methodology. His, his progrophy, process of writing historical details, it narrates history in a, paper, in a proper way according to the time, space, and depth. Depends on what is what depends on the scope of the writer's research using available sources and references. Dun sa ano, dun sa his, his pro, uh, his pro tonography process of writing. Kailangan nga, nandun nga, yung kagaya nung sabi ko na kailangan na um, kanyang sinulat ng mga detalye na galing sa kanya. At yung mga research na nagawa niya. And then, next is historical imagination. When the, when the writer puts himself in the picture or writing history using one's imagination, sipin mo yung may ginawa si Jose Rizal na kung saan yung akda niya. Can you imagine na may, meron siyang ginawa? Then, nakita mo yung ginawa niyang, for example, yung books niyang El Fili, El Fili, saka yung No Limi. Then, pag makikita mo yon may imagine mo na, ay, si ganito nga yung nagsulat dito. Si ganito nga, kwento niya nga to. And then, may connection siya sa past, present, and the future. Sa present is, bak sa present, sa past, bakit nga ba namatay yung karakter ni ganito? Kasi nga, kung bakit niya pinatay ni Dr. Rosa Rizal, yung karakter na si Ibarra, kasi, ayaw niyang magay ang mga kabataan sa ginawa niya. Ginawa niyang kailangan ba gumante in the way na gaganti ka sa masamang paraan. Kasi, may kasabihan nga ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. Paano mo masasabing pag-asa ang, ba ang kabataan kung puro naman masama ang na manan niya sa past na kailangan dapat sa future at sa present? Then, Dimensions of History. First is the place, geographical dimension, or the locations of event is really important. Bakit nga ba important yung place? Kung saan nagalap yung pangyayari? Example ko na lang, namatay, namatay si Jose Rizal sa... Na-post mo yun? Go. For example, si Jose Rizal, namatay siya sa bagong bayan na kung saan naka, naka-dictate dun yung place. 
And then another example, Battle of Waterloo. Miss the considered the climate of the country which was winter. The most likely the climate was biggest factor why he lost the historic Neapolitan War. The second is time or the time or the chronological dimension. Time time event time element is very important. It is the Barome barometer historical events. Example, Rizal was born in the 19th century, which is the age of England. Kailangan yung time kasi yung para malaman natin kung ano nga bang panahon yun na naganap o nangyari ang isang history. Kagaya nga nung nabanggit ko kanina about kayo sa Rizal. And then, let's talk about the three important dating in history. First is the Asian period, the second is medieval period or the age of faith, the third is modern period. <clears throat> Asian period, man's existence and civilization. Dito sa time na to, sa Asian period, gumagamit sila ng rocks para makakreate ng fire, para makapagluto sila ng pagkain nila. Nagahunt din sila ng animals or They using the balangay sa itas, gumagamit sila ng balangay para makapag-transport papunta sa ibang bayan. <clears throat> And then medieval period or the age of faith, man learn to value faith and education. Meaning, dito parang, nag -in, parang may nabago na, na kung saan natuto na din sila dito magsulat. Magsulat gamit ang mag- Magsulat doon sa kahoy or doon sa dahon ng saging. And then, sa modern period, man discovered and learned the essence of technology as well as how to harmonize his works and environment. Andito na tayo sa modern period na kung saan na-discover na ng tao kung pa ano nga ba ang technology, kung paano ito gamitin sa papaanong paraan para makatulong sa ating. And then, summary of the chapter. The study of history in the Philippines nowadays is suffering on account to teachers who are non-history majors as well as their lack of expertise and experience in teaching the subject. So, para makapagturo yung mga teacher natin, is kailangan din nila ng experience to this subject and then in this chapter we will we will discuss history as the study of the past and how is the very much related to the present and future events history can also be repeated in the same person even in place yung mga nangyari noong nakaraan pwede rin mangyari sa isang tao na kung saan iba nga lang ang nangyari sa kanya Documents are one of the reliable sources of history according to Teodoro Abonsilio, late nationalist historian. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, kailangan nga ng sources of history. Kailangan yung sinabi dito na, yung sinabi kong letters, birth certificate, or and so on, na para saan makilala ang isang tao. Therefore, the source The sources of history are primary or, or and secondary. So, yun na nga yung nasabi ko kanina. And then, <coughs> relevance in studying history. It is the foundation of the nation's national identity. History gives more emphasis on how the Filipino fought during those times of struggle such as the propaganda movement in 1892 to 1896. So, kailangan, kaya nga ayun, pinamulat sa atin yung history, kung ano nga ba ang naganap sa kanila noon, kung paano nagkaroon ng war, kung paano nagpalaya ang ating bansa. So, a study of history considered the following. It gives full information and details about the people, events, places, as well as the time and the existence of the nation. Second, 
It gives information on how to create social and historical awareness to develop nationalistic consequences and it gives pride and national identity from the past events, people, culture, and know the heroes who inspired the Filipino people to be proud of our brown race. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, kaya nila inano yung history nila, pinagdoy siya para malaman ng bawat isa kung ano nga ba ang halaga nun para sa kanila. Bakit sila nakipaglaban para lang basa wala? Kundi nakipaglaban sila para sa kalayaan ng bawat isa. Para ang bawat isa ay maging mapayapa at masaya. And then, history, two, dim two dimension, namely geographical or place and the chronological or the time. The study of history has a great significance in defining the national pride, national identity, and the nationalist consequences. <clears throat> the great attribute of the national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, and other equally noble Filipino heroes bear witness to our great Filipino nation. That's all. Thank you.